name is uh, Jose. Uh, I'm an electrical engineer and I joined, recently joined Natural Power as a site manager and a high voltage appointed person. Site managers, we uh, primarily provide uh, field services. Uh, we uh, manage operational safety of clients' assets, maintenance, electrical network operations, and inspections like the one we are going to do today. My name is Alistair Parlett. I'm the head of asset management for Natural Power, and uh, we are going to do a follow up inspection uh, after some four year maintenance that was completed last month. So that's just to make sure that the system has settled down and everything is operating normally. As a senior manager, I'm also here to do a manager walk around um, to ensure that we have good employee engagement and to support Jose in the inspection that he's doing. What got me into electrical engineering, uh, my family had an electrical engineering business, so I grew up uh, surrounded by all these electrical devices and motors, transformers, PLCs. Being in this environment is what it sparked the interest in the whole electricity and control system works. I was quite happy to get to help in the family business because by the time I had to choose a career path, I already knew that I will enjoy a career in electrical engineering. We have to check in the protection relays if we have any alarm. Uh, everything looks healthy. Uh, everything is in working conditions. What excites me most about my job is uh, right now is the high voltage switching. This is quite new to me. It may seem fairly uh, easy when you see it from outside, but uh, there is a lot of work. When an SAP uh, prepare a switching program, it needs to be checked by another SAP to, to make sure everything is uh, perfect, so that there is no room for mistakes when switching. So we are going to do uh, the PD uh, partial discharge uh, survey now. Uh, so that's the tab, uh, that's the device we're going to use to check for uh, partial discharge. It has two methods to check for partial discharge. One will be sensing the ultra uh, sound waves that the discharge makes, and another will be uh, checking the transient earth voltage that is induced on the metal enclosures. So we are going to use today both methods. Um, but first we need to calibrate it to check if it's working properly. We normally had to wear a, a arc flash uh, clothing, but depending on the job, of course, if we are doing a local switching, even if we avoid as much as possible to do local switching, we need to gear up, we need to layer up. If we are doing local switching, we need uh, flame retardant clothing on top, arc flash coveralls, arc flash uh, helmet with a visor, and then the uh, rubber insulated gloves. Well, one of the biggest challenges you can come across in this job, definitely, as you can see, is the, the weather. Most of the wind farms are located in quite exposed and elevated uh, areas. Uh, we have to check the weather forecast constantly and risk assess if it's uh, safe enough to do the job. At the same time, we have our control center constantly monitoring the weather forecast. They will call us if they, there is any lightning in, in the nearby and advise us to to stop the job. So the thing I, I like most about the clothing is like it's very comfortable, it's very light. Uh, so even when you layer up, you have this free of movement, you don't feel uh, clumsy and that's very important when you are close to any HV apparatus. I could say that the thing I don't like about the job is Again, in all wind farms, uh, we have to share the roads with livestock. And we are constantly opening and closing livestock gates. You spend half of the day <laughs> opening and closing. That's definitely the worst.